Hey guys, I'm coming back at you for another album review, and this is the second CD off the Shrem album called Swaycation. This is uh, Sway Lee's album or whatever. So they put this together in like three albums, but I'll go through track by track since it's only nine tracks and let you know my thoughts on this. Track number one, touch screen navigation. I don't like it. Uh, the start of this record. It's the first song on this record, but it's very bad. I know he wanted to try this reggae or rap or R&B stuff or whatever, but for this song, it just doesn't work. It makes you want to go to sleep to this song. Like, this is just the first track, but... Uh, I'm giving this song a 2.5 out of 5. I was a little disappointed with this one. It was just not the one for me. Track number two, um, Heartbreak and Encino Hills. Another bad song. This album right now is going nowhere. And it feels misplaced and just... I get that he's trying this reggae, R&B, and rap stuff, but... You gotta add a little more interest to the song, bro. You're just... In this area you're trying to do, it's not working. Like... They're... Melody-wise, it's a little okay, but... It's just not my song, so... I'll give it a 2.5 out of 5. Track number 3, Heat of the Moment. Got a little better, but still sucks. Uh, I'd give this maybe a 3 out of 5. Uh, it's, it repeats. This chorus is so fucking repetitive. And it just makes it so bad at the same time. But beat-wise, melody-wise, it's a little okay, so it's a meh. It's that mess song. You're just like, eh, whatever. Track number four, um, Offshore featuring Young Thug. This song is just garbage. This song, I'm giving it like a two out of five. What the fuck? Even Young Thug hit the featured artist and it sucks too. He's a good rapper and all that. It's just for this thing they're going for nope so two out of five guatemala featuring slim jimmy this song is meh but still is not that good i i heard it over while i was working and all that and i was like what the fuck is this I'm like, come on, bro. I'm like, you can do better than this. Ugh, but it's not a good song. But it... It's okay because Slim Jimmy's in it, so it makes it a little, a little bit better, but I'd give it a 3 out of 5. It's a little okay, but it's not something I'm going to really get excited for and really like track number six which is lost angels now this is where he's redeeming himself i actually found this a little bit better i think it's a decent song it's still not perfect but it did a little bit better so i'd give this a four out of five it piqued my interest so I was like, okay, here we go. This is something that's making it, bringing that uh, spark back to life. Track number seven, uh, Hurt to Look featuring Slim Jimmy. So Ray Shremmer, the whole thing's in it. Decent. It's 
getting a 4 out of 5 as well. And there's still a few areas where it's okay and does kind of go a little off course, but it still does a good job to try to be a little bit of a good song. But it's going to get a 4 out of 5. Track number 8, Red Wine. This was like... 2 minutes and 28 seconds, but it was an enjoyable song. I actually liked it. I wish it was could go on longer, but it did a little better, so 4.5 out of 5. And the final song, What's in Your Heart. Mm. A great way to close the record. I can just tell you that. I do like this song. I like the melody. In certain areas, yeah, there's a repetitive, there are repetitive moments in it, but it does a pretty good job. So I'll give it a 5 out of 5. I enjoyed it. It's probably a great way to close a record. Unfortunately, Swaycation sucked. It was a shit show. But the, the first five tracks suck. The... 6 through 9 redeemed itself. It did better to m make the end of the album a lot better. But overall, no. This is not even worth purchasing. This It's garbage. It's gonna get a 3 out of 10, unfortunately. I respect certain songs in here I get what he's trying to do with this but why you could have just at least took in your time to m put more tracks in it and put more improvement into these songs and make it more entertaining for us to enjoy and it wasn't so vacation is a disaster and but those four tracks I mentioned that were good, six through nine, I can definitely come back to. But the first five are crap. But I'm sorry, this is getting a three out of ten. And that's going to be it for this review. Comment below, let me know your thoughts on Swaycation, the second album from the Shrem Al record. And I should be back shortly for the Jimtro. So, see you in the next video.